good morning everybody, especially good morning patrons. Look what came already very quickly from Turkey, from Shimshik family, your requested chagan. The Tatar style bow now from Simsek. And now we only see where we open this one. Because I need to open it carefully again in this box. I will send then the Chagan to you. Simsek was so kind and sent us the short and the normal version. In the giveaway is the long version because I think you requested this one. If the patron who does who wins the giveaway wants the short one. Let me know. What do we get? A nice box. And you get this. So we get sleeves. We get strings. So one, two, three strings. Two extra sleeves. And then the bows are already packed in sleeves. And then there is written somewhere. This is for the Sipahi Plus, which I got the new version. This is for the Chagan Short and this is for the Chagan Plus and it's a Turk Dora SK78. Pretty cool how this family does it. I am really happy. So this is the new Sipasi, pa, Sipahi, which we don't review. This is in the short <laughs> handle. <laughs> this is the short, oh, <laughs> the short Chagan and this is the one we talk about today and then there is a nice sticker in it, paperly, with all the information about the Sipahi, but they sent me all the information again. They do a really good job in documenting things, uh, but it's not in the box. Look at this. Huh? So nice, packed with this thingy on top. Nice. What can I tell you? From Simsek, the Chagana Tata design bow, we know, oh, we know the materials already like we had from all the other bows, has a length strong of 121 centimeters, unstrong 105, has a string length of 117.5 and a brace height of 19 centimeters. You can have this bow in 30 to 45 pounds and there is an extra version, I think a special version coming or soon available with up to 95 or 99 pounds and the maxter of this pretty bow is 31 inches. So today we get it without decoration. It's a plain one, only with leather cover, I guess. But to the prices, we come in a second. On the other side, while we are there, prices. The bow by itself costs 325 euros. This leather cover is 50 euros extra, and then you can have this T-zip art painting on it. It's 75 more, so you can have it 325, or you max it out with 450 euros. And usually you have shipping, but I tell you directly now, so you don't have to wait until the end. Because they are so nice, they made a new voucher, which is Armin 2020. And then you get the shipping express for free. Thank you, family Simshek. So now look at this pretty bow. It's like, <laughs> and they listen. Handle is now a little more rounded back there. Feels really good. Look at this pretty, pretty bow. Nice. So we have this new version of Sears with this inlays here. We will do with the Sipa here comparison with the old and the new one later on. Very good. So let's see. Knock to knock. And now we switch to inches because we can. 51 and a half. The arrow pass. 23 millimeters. So I said you get all the information from Simsek about all the measurements and details and paintings and really they, they do a good job in this. So it's not that you don't know what you get. Really good. Packaging is good and even the communication with them is very professional. So you get a nice looped string. Got stuck here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this we can do better, right? I think we can do this better, yes, so look at this nice string, has here really big reinforcements around the end of the loops. Looking good, there is a knot in it. Not sure if I like it, so with knots in low poundage it's fine, How high poundage I would not like it. So the center serving is quite long and the string has the same length on both sides, so I assume it doesn't matter 
how we put it on. And I think even these bows, last time somebody asked me, where is the top part and the bottom part of these bows? And that's a good question. And I ask him, check for uh, writing. There's something written on it. It's a 45 pound. So I would then suggest and guess that this one is the upper limb. But that's me, 45 pounds at 28. And has a max of 31. Easy, you saw it. Look how nice. So that looks interesting. See, we have still this slightly flex forward. Then he comes back and then he goes into this nice long sears. Bash, Kazan, and then of course you have here the spine running down, which is really pretty. And the belly, of course, you have this golden lining and then this nice black here. Looks pretty, basic. Handle feels very good. And we need another weight, of course. 400, huh? 435, yep. And somebody asked me last time if my all my papers exist already as a paper form or as an Excel sheet once I have a lot of time. I will put all the reviews I did, the written reviews so far in an Excel sheet and then you can have it. But, nice, straight, straight. So wiggly, there, it's quite flexible, but of course with the design you can expect this, but that means the bow will flex nicely. And in this direction, yeah, it's medium stiff, so it's not the stiffest one, but it's, of course, you have this long where you really have a lever, so it's, but it's fine, feels good. <laughs> Look at this. And it's so, so thin, everything, I think, but sturdy. Look up to there, 31. I think you don't have stacking. Wow. So, I think we need to shoot this one. I didn't know which poundage I get, so I simply prepared some arrows. So we have 45 at 31, uh, at 28. So I guess we are roughly at 50 or a bit over 50 at 31. So 500 grain. The arrows are a little too long. I don't have 31 inch arrows. Draw experience is nice. Look. Until there, it draws really nice. And of course, these bows need to be shot in so these bows need a few shots that they get more flexible. Nice, so 500 grain. You feel it a little in the handle, but even this will get better after a few shots. Nice, and direct the group. Oh, and the string is bitey. 400 grain and a loose tip. Oh yeah, oh, then you feel a little vibration. But I assume it will. Oh, I didn't measure the brace right now. Oh, Robin Hoodle. Oh, nice. So, and 330 grain. Maybe a little too lightweight. There is no recommendation. So, oh, nice. If you did then, but still fine. It still doesn't feel like dry firing. I think this bow can handle that. Now we shoot the Baturnok, because we can. Oh yeah, now it starts flexing. And oh, this is the last time somebody uh, has a motivation. I wanted to see the group. Look there. You see it there? Somewhere, there's the group. Nice. So let's see. 28. It's here. And we have 33.6. Uh, 40, 43.6. 43.6. I read it down. And at full draw, we have. So draw until here is nice. And 31 is nice too, so it works. 52.5. And with this bow, I feel safe. To draw. Now we had recently a few bows, they didn't feel that safe. So let's check it. Sure, like this. Now you see already, of course, short bow. Not an extreme angle, angle, sear angle. 28 and we are just at 60 degrees, see? So performance-wise, just fine. 
I don't have a pin on 31, so we show it on 30. Oh, yeah. Look at this, pretty. And you see here, still not too much stress. The limbs still a little outward for 31. It's just perfecto, in my opinion. But what do I know? 20 meters, 500 grain. Oh, nice, really nice. So directly I have to say these ones for me way more than the Sipahi. Look at this. Arrow pass is very narrow, so we need to compensate for it. That's the wrong compensation. 400 grain. Oh, wobbly. So, make sure your arrows are stiff enough. The weight doesn't matter with this bow. <laughs> Look at this. And 330 grain. Oh, right there, a bit lightweight. But now you feel that the bow flexes more. Yep. Wobbly, but. <laughs> awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. Let's talk about speed, but if you want to see a really precise speed test, check uh, Tirendas on Facebook or Murad Özferi, which you already know, he did really an extensive speed test with these bows. I only have these set, three sets of arrows here, so I simply shoot these ones. We see what I get out of it, but if you want to see the whole speed test check, Murad Özferi, he really did a long video and you see what these bows are capable of. 171, 500 grain still. So we are almost at 10 grain per pound. 169, 171, 500 grain, eh, 400 grain, 400 grain, 189. 184, 184, and let me shoot the 330 grain. i show you then what grain per pound it is, I don't know. 202. 202. Shall I believe that? I'll do it again. Horseback arches. If you want a bit longer draw, 31 inches. This one, if you want shorter draw, take the short. Review next. 207. 200. And a pull draw. 210. <laughs> Let's shoot the Sungurs. 400 grain, they just feel right. The benefit of this bow, with this handle, it's a little easier, not that much easier like with the Sipahi, but it's a little easier so you can do all your fancy stuff here. Easy, so horseback arches, really. Hmm. And I think even 28 inches is... Let's shoot three fingers. Let you see it. Look at this. Nice. So no problem. Even when you draw this one only 28 and you want to make your way later up. Look at the curves. <laughs> oh. Yep. That's this money well invested. Nice. Sure and <coughs> 500 grand. So they're a bit too long, obviously, so I don't draw them fully, but until here it's nice. And then kicks 500 grain arrows away. Still nice. So a bit string twisting. And the two lightweight ones. Don't want to bother you with too much shooting because it's a lot of fun. Look. <laughs> These ones. Awesome. Now even the vibration in the handle, let me see. 
it's still a little there, but I would. I mean, there's no recommendation. I mean, I, I think eight grain is fine, but this 330 grain, <laughs> they, boop, boop. with 500 spine, they have a quite heavy tip and they're 500 grain. What they are doing without cutter, without anything, straight, nice. The cutter. Ooh, almost shot the tripod leg. And cut a string twist. <laughs> of course. 400 grain and they have 400 spine. But the tip is a little more lightweight, so they should seem to be a little stiffer. Need to fix this with these loose tips, mom. Look, and now the bow wants to draw. Now it's now you shot it in the R 600 spine, so they're maybe a little weak. So get 400 spine arrows, lightweight ones, 500 grain. We'll, we'll do the job, even they do the job. <laughs> nice, look at this, and yeah. That you hear a little, you feel a little, but it's so minor. And even with 330 grain, you have a little kick in your hand. But if awesome, so let's shoot. See, pass his turn because we can, right? So let's make sure that you see the bow. And you see, 31 inches is now no problem. Once you start shooting, we don't want to stop. This is one of these bows. This is one of these bows. So this is the top part. And really arrows, they don't mind, don't matter that much. Nice. 400 grain. Nicer. 330. A little kick, but still nice. So, something between 330 and 400, I would go. Then you have good speed, reliable arrows, <laughs> and an awesome shooter. And if you only want to draw 29, but good 29, this bow is made for you. If you want to max the bow out at 29, get the shorter one. Or if you draw only 27, 28 inches, get the shorter one, but every other. And if 31 inch is a draw length you like, get one. You don't want to put this out of your hand anymore. The rating with this awesome bow, what you get is a string, a sleeve and a bow. I got two second sleeves with it, so I counted now one more point and a little bit of documentation, but not in the box, but on the website, so you get, but not in the box. So let's, let's be fair, we get a bow, a string, a sleeve and another sleeve, three points. Could be more, maybe include a second string. The handling of this bow was pretty darn easy to string and of course due to the material this bow is still straight. So. You can't do anything wrong, step through method. This bow is forgiving in this regards. Does the job, easy to string. Five. The build quality, <clears throat> now we need to talk. Because it's premium, yes, but let me show you some of these small dots. You see this one here? I need to be picky now, you know, because and then these scratches here on the sear, I don't know. Then we have a few dirt spots, you can clean that, that's fine. And even here where the handle is, you have this small, you see it, the small dot there. So this time, and here's some shiny part, and then it's matte again. And here is another of these spots. I know this is due to the material, but I don't like it. So this is one part 
where I would say at least this bow here is a dent in the leather so I don't know maybe they used this bow already but these three dots in the material here are not so nice maybe you can't get rid of them but then find something to cosmetically fix it because when I see this bone has already holes in it on this big dent here I don't know so today we are not completely there at least with this one we will see how the other chagun will look like but for this one I give you four so we can always improve the basic feel of this bow the handle is just just fine and they listen to people now the back edges are rounded now this bow is solid in your hand some people like this edgy corner but it's almost a bit painful and when it's a little kicking then you feel it here but this one really sits nicely feels good could be for me a little bigger but this is with every bow almost this is fine so this feels good the bow is balanced and with this bow you can do everything even when you draw here this is safe so you don't have to worry when you do string twist or whatever that this bow will snap this bow is a beast in this regard so there's totally no problem it flexes here which is nice it means the bow wants to bend and in this direction it's stiff enough for everyone so even a beginner with a bow like this but there i start at 30 pounds for a beginner bow not sure but you can start with 30 pounds and get some protection thumb protection and then everything will be fine and then look you have this nice ears the small string bridges here kazan goes nice down handle is nice and over there the other side then you have now this big inlays here for the string it's deep it's easy so this bow is easy to manage easy to to maintain so and you can shoot this bow underwater you don't have to worry about delamination in humidity or heat this bow simply doesn't matter and this is one of the big benefits with this bow you don't have to think you can shoot in the rain whatever you do this bow doesn't mind and when you see then how thin these th very small here and here they are not yet yeah, it's, it's it's okay and then you get this power out of this bow it's not so lightweight due to the material but the design of this bow is really it looks very fragile but it's a sturdy piece i got carried away again basic feel five draw experience this is the upper part right yep and not so many scratches so i did proper cut <laughs> so from here on you feel that it's a 45 pounds so here 28 29 30 31 then there is no stacking and you feel the curve goes constantly nice and smooth up so there is no edge in it you really can work your way up there this is through experience awesome five and the shooting experience of this bow I didn't need many shots so with this bow you feel instantly familiar and I shot almost with all arrows directly from the beginning relatively good groups of course you shoot a few more times 100 200 more arrows then this is a precise machine you only need to find the right <clears throat> spine and weighted arrow for it so I would go something between 330 and 400 grain 350 360 and I would get most probably for this 45 pounder 500 or 400 spine but you need to see what works for you even the 600 spine we're working so it's hmm has something five so we get 27 points for unfortunately so price 325 in the base version with leather and with painting 450 euros is a number of course we had it before with these bows but they deliver so first of all close to close to the original we know it's not a composite horn senior bow but look with the with the spine running down here the the kasan and the bush and you know this it's, it's all made like it almost was made so relatively historically looking and i think the shooting experience is very close to a composite bow i like how this is all made here looks very good very nice made 
would I pay 325 euros? Yes, definitely. If I'm into something with delamination problems from horseback, I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry that I scratch this bow or that the glass will break and all these things you have with a laminated bow. So if I really want to abuse this bow, run in the woods or whatever, we have many, they, they run in the woods, they need a short bow. Yes, I would even save the leather because it can get scratched up too. So and then it's 325, then it's fine for me. And if I want something beautiful, and I can show you the photos they do with their TSIP art, I don't know how you pronounce it right, then you see you get pretty pose, and it's then 50 for the leather and 75 for this nice artwork on it, and then you have a really pristine looking, when you, when you reenact or when you dress up in your whatever Ottoman outfit or Tatar outfit, whatever you have, and this boat does the job too. So in this way, it's a working machine, but it can be a beauty too. So you have all the options you need and the price for this is fine by me. And I said in the beginning, I think right now they have an offer. When you order, you get 20% off until end of January or something, somebody told me. I don't know, but you can check on their website and what you get is with the voucher code ARMIN2020, you get shipping, express shipping for free, which is another 50 euros or something. So. And this regards more than 10% off with the Armin code, Armin, with the, wow, with the voucher code Armin2020. You should have named it 2021 because it's for next year and 2020. Nobody wants to talk about 2020 anymore, but it's fine. Fully worth for me, price value, what you get here, incredible, fully worth five points. That's all for today. Batteries are running out way too fast. Thank you very much, family Shimshek, for sending me the bow. This is for the patrons. As said, I have the normal version and the short version, which I will do a review soon. And then the patron who will win the giveaway can choose either or. I would go for the longer draw, but that's me. But when you're, you know, when you're smaller and 29 inches is fully enough and you draw 27, 28 inches, then the short one would be nicer because shorter, smaller form factor, more lightweight all the beneficial things there. So thank you very much, Family Simsek, for sending this post to me. Thank you very much, patrons, legends. And that's all for now. I said, a lot of reviews are coming. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.